two. Yeah, I think we're live. Let me check. All right, we're live. Uh, what up, everybody? This is episode uh, 14 of Broken Controllers. Uh, this is your host, BTG Inferno, here. Um, and as always, I'm joined by my co host, Irish1620. What's up, man? What up, what up? Um, this week we are talking about, um, uh, it, it was actually a pretty quiet week here. Um, Iris, let's make sure that we can hear you here. Okay, we can hear you here. Okay, we're not echoing good. Alright, so we got, a. Uh, it was actually a pretty quiet week here, but we got some, um, a, some pretty big stories to talk about. Um, Microsoft is talking about making a tre uh, cheaper streaming version of the Xbox Scarlet. Um, and, um, uh... Um, Treyarch is getting themselves into a little bit of trouble. So let's jump right into it. Iris, what are you playing this week here? Uh, Destiny still. Trying to get caught up with all of that good fun stuff. Jump, Jumping into that Destiny action, huh? Yeah, I fell pretty far behind, so... Uh, it's, I got a lot of catch-up to play. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your light level this week? Um... I am sitting at a flat 691 right now. My highest piece is uh, 697. The Rose hand cannon. Working on trying to get that new uh, exotic that they released. Okay, so that in, in, its, in a nutshell is my problem with Destiny. I don't like that every single time that I complete a mission... And I get an exotic gun of some sort, it's a hand cannon, dude. I can't stand it. Like, I, I hate hand cannons as is, and, like, they released that quest to go get Ace, and I got, like, to the point where you have to get, like, uh, what is it, uh, 25 headshot kills with a hand cannon, or whatever it is, and it was brutal, dude. Like, I, I hated it. I hated every second of it. So I just gave up on the challenge, and I was like, you know what? Not today. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Not, not right now. Cause, and then I just never got back to it. I'm going to turn off this light here. Well, I mean, I uh, I don't know if you've seen what I've got going on. If you want to pop up my my stream real quick. but uh, Yeah, I can. Go ahead. I, I can show you here real quick. Uh, I, I've, I've got a lot of the exotics. And I still need to, like I said, get caught up and hunt for more. But I mean, I, I, get my set. I got Go Crimson, ahead. I've got Vigilance Wing, I've got Chaperone, Huckleberry, Ace of Spades, Jack, uh, Jade Rabbit, Cold Heart, Graviton Lance, Skyburner's Oath, Hard Light, Borealis, Polaris Lance, Whisper of the Worm, The Colony, uh, Sleeper Stimulant, Worldline Zero, Thunderlord, and then I've got the shotgun that I'm still working on, the raid shotgun. Which one is the the shotgun now? Uh, Legend of Acris, currently, but I need to go and do a bunch of raid work with it to get it actually fully powered up and leveled up. But once it's fully leveled, it does like a spread shot. Like, really nasty spread shot. Yeah. And I... and it'll drop crowds of freaking cabal, uh, cabal. Yeah, I wish I would have put more time into Destiny early on when it was, um, when it was still new and worth playing. It's an expensive, it's an expensive game now. Definitely. Like, it's so fun, 20 though. bucks here and 20 bucks there over a course of time isn't that bad, but all of it all at once, that's a little bit more intensive. <laughs> it's a little bit harder to afford. So, Straight wait up. for it to go on sale for certain certain DLC and stuff like that. So, But uh, is that it? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, and then in the, as far as mobile, I've uh, been getting down more on the... Uh, the freaking Pokemon Rumble Rush. Um, also just picked up um, that new Tempin. Tempin? Yeah, it's uh, like a K 
Capcom, I do believe, uh, card game. Oh. So How that, is it? Is it free to play? I would assume that's it, free to play. Yeah, right. it's it's free to play. Um, I haven't really messed with it yet. I was actually gonna go taking around on it later this evening and check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I. It looks good though. I'm kind of. But I mean, reading to... reading through the the reviews, I didn't see much good, to be honest. I, I'm kind of spoiled when it comes to card games, because I mean, I didn't play Hearthstone and all that. I played Magic: The Gathering, uh, Pokemon, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh growing up. And, yeah, it's uh, you and I both, man. We're that gen. Well, it's like, why am I gonna, why am I gonna spend hundreds of dollars on these card packs? Excuse me, kicking over my bottle here. <laughs> um, why am I gonna spend a hundred, hundreds of dollars on card packs um, when I can go out and get these physical cards for free? You know what I mean, like. Straight up. That's you know, I would rather, much rather do that, and then I can collect these cards. You know, and plus, to be entirely honest, like these card games are done better than Hearthstone and better than than uh, Animation Throwdown, you know, or whatever it's called. You know, so like as far as these card games go, like it's better than what's it called, Gwent. You know, so like if I'm gonna play. A card game I'm gonna play the card games that are really good and then have done this for generations you know and I'm gonna have physical in hand things so I don't play the card game the digital <gasps> card games too right? stupid sorry to interrupt I, I I choked up on something here you're good <laughs> I screwed up I, I screwed up my link had everything right except for my link and I've been over here just like pumping it out, and then I stopped for a second, like, wait a second. Oh no. <laughs> the link's broken the whole time. Mm. But, uh. I played. I didn't play as much as I would have liked this week. I didn't play as many video games as I would have liked. Now. Uh, let's start with the retro title. About as retro as you can get without going into the Atari era, um, and that's going to be um, Super Mario 3. I mean, not much to say there. Super Mario. <laughs> Anybody that's watching this probably knows what, knows what Super Mario is. So, uh, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't play it that long. I played it for maybe 30, 40 minutes. Cleared the first world, almost cleared the second. Uh, <laughs> I forgot how amusing the using the whistles can be in that game, warping to world eight. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, um, there's there's two whistles that I remembered. Um, one was the first world castle, where you fly up above the picture. And there's a door at the very end of the, the hallway. And then you go in there and then you get a big chest and it opens up a, um, a whistle for you. The second one that I remembered was in the second world, you got to get the mallet from one of the uh, hammer bros. Break the rocks, go fight the other hammer bro, and that will give you a whistle to warp again. The one that I did not remember about, there's three whistles in Super Mario 3. And I actually did not remember about this whistle. I went rounds with my mom and dad. I was like, this whistle doesn't exist. You guys are crazy. I swear, I could have swore this whistle did not exist. They were totally right. I, I YouTubed it, and um, you hold duck on one of the white, um, white backdrops. You drop behind the, the map, and then you run behind the, finish, the, the black finish part of the level. And it takes you into another part of the level where you get another whistle to warp. So they actually have three whistles in this game. And they give you three different opportunities to warp. 
and give you the opportunity to warp to world eight. I didn't oh, do that. Nice. I just I got the first two whistles and I was like, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> I'm actually I'm 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 done with this game. <laughs> uh, which leads into my next game, which was Super Mario Maker Two. Now. I picked this game up for full price. I went and traded in a bunch of games for it, a bunch of Switch games. The game itself was fun. I had a lot of fun with the game. I'm having a lot of fun with the game. I continue to play it. There's something oddly satisfying about making a successful Mario level and then being able to play through that while still experiencing a challenge, not being able to fly through the whole level. The biggest problem with it is I haven't found how to place regular coins throughout the, the map. I know there's a way to do that, but um, because I downloaded a, a map that allows you... The, the whole premise of the map is collect 20 coins, get to the finish line. I downloaded the map, but then I got rid of it because I realized there was no way to beat the, map, the mission. And that's kind of like the one of the one of the other big problems with this game. The people that make the, the, the maps... You know, they'll, they'll do stuff like, you know, this is the problem with, with, with some of the people in the gaming community. And I'm not going to say this is everybody because it's not, and this is, that, that would be incorrect and untrue. But a large part of people, especially the people who think they're hilarious, they'll make a map that's like either A, either unbeatable, or B, there's hundreds of, of blocks or tubes that'll kill you. <laughs> you know, I, I did make a map. Where if you go down one tube, it'll kill you. But that's the only tube in the entire map that does that. If there's one tube, that's one thing. But if you're going to put like 99 tubes up there and 98 of them kills me, I'm not going to play your map. You know what I mean? And so like finding a good map that is just something to run through and have fun with and that still has a solution that's beatable it's it's far and few in that game you know what i mean mm -hmm. and then um they do do a thing where when you upload a map um you have to do a clear run so what you'll do is you'll run through and you'll clear it one time so then you can upload the map right and then it'll it'll tell you you have to clear this map one time once you upload the map you can edit it as you please so if you want to take away the things that made that map beatable after it's uploaded, you can do that and then it automatically saves your changes to the game. So you still can't, like even if they've, they've cleared it, you still can't beat the game. Or you still can't beat the map because they took out the things that made it clearable. Dang. You know what I mean? So, like that's kind of a bad, a bad thing, a bad side to it. Um, the, I'm getting all the bads out of the way first and then we'll get the goods out of the way. Um, the other thing is, is um, it's not true to the Super Mario games as a whole. So Super Mario World, um, you know, you had that little square that held a reserve, you know, a, a mushroom, flower power, or feather, and then in that in that uh, instance uh, that you'd go, you'd get hit and you'd go to Mini Mario, you could grab whatever thing you had in your reserve, and then that would be like another way to keep you from getting hit. Or to keep you from dying. They got rid of that. That's not in Super Mario Maker. Super Mario World. Um. You good? Sorry, my controller turned off. So I had to make the same. The same thing. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario. Oh, Super Mario. <laughs> it's such battery just. So many places to remove. Almost at the bottom of that list, though. I need to do more work in a bunch of these Discord channels because uh, there's quite a few of them I still don't have permission to uh, promote, self-promote in yet. There we go. I got I got my uh, my PlayStation mic back. But uh, anyway, um, 
So what I was saying was, um, there's there they got rid of uh they got rid of that. They also um, uh, they were also uh, for like Yoshi and stuff. It's like what I was explaining before the the show. For Yoshi, um, you know, if you put another Yoshi on the map and you uh you crack another Yoshi egg, you get another Yoshi. You don't get an extra man. They got rid of the life system entirely, so you can just keep running and keep running and keep running. I get why they did that, because some of the stuff, some of these missions, some of these levels are extremely tough. But, with that said, you have to have some sort of risk reward system. Now, I haven't played in story mode or whatever it's called, or whatever, story world, whatever it's called, um, yeah. So they might, they might have lives and that might be more of a risk reward situation. But mm -hmm. I do know in the actual game itself, when you're run running through people's maps, they don't give you a life system. Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of a huge bummer. Um, kind of big, fi final biggest thing for me, um, it doesn't stay true to the Mario lore as far as like what Yoshi eats. So if you eat a, eat a red shell in the old Super Mario Brothers, you could hit the same button that he would use to, to, to eat. And that would um, throw off fire moves. A green shell, you'd just spit it out and just kill things. A blue shell, you'd get wings, and you'd be able to fly as Yoshi. You don't get that stuff in this. You don't, and you don't have that ability. Um, so that's kind of a huge thing. Um, you know, if you're gonna put Yoshi in there, give Yoshi what he's supposed to have. Mm -hmm. Oop, they got um. Plus sides. Um, this game is really fun. Like I said, there's something odd, oddly satisfying about building a map and being able to get through it and have a challenge. Um, me and my brother were playing it. We were taking turns building maps, seeing which one could build the harder map and then which one could run through it. Um, one thing that's really cool is that there's a lot of variety. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, throughout this game, um, you get a lot of different turtles, you know, you get Goombas, you get the, the Goomba boot from Super Mario 3 and Super Mario 1, you know, like I said, you get Yoshi for Super Mario World, uh, you get Super Mario 3D World, and New Super Mario Brothers U, which is one, co-op 1 through 4, um, for, um, multiplayer. So there's a lot of really fun aspects of the game. You know what I mean? There's just small nitpicky stuff that I have. Um, another good side, another good upside is uh, they got leaderboards for certain courses. So popular courses would be up on the leaderboards. You can go challenge those scores and see if you can get on the leaderboard per score or per per uh, time. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and then the other thing is um, there's different map types. So within Super Mario 1, 2, 3 World, 3D World, and Super Mario Brothers U, um, you also have different map types within those 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 game types. So for instance, uh, I'm building a map in Super Mario Brothers 3, a Bowser castle right now. And the whole idea is to, at, at the end of the map, beat Bowser, you know. Power level so. set to maximum. There's a lot of different challenges, uh, abil availability to get a key, uh, use your POWs correctly, your tubes, basically anything that allows you to add more, um, more puzzle aspects or speedrun aspects or platforming aspects, it gives you the ability to do that. So that's always something interesting Thank you. Uh, to look at as well. Uh, overall, I had a lot of fun with this game. Um, there's not really a whole lot more to say about it other than if you like platformers, you like Mario Brothers, and you like Super Mario World, and you just like playing Mario Brothers, and um, you like building in Minecraft, because that's really what it is. You're building a level, and you like building. Uh, go pick this. Go pick, pick this game up. It's worth it. It's definitely. It's a lot of fun. There's some nitpicky stuff that Bombcast had to say about it, but overall, I I thought it was really good. And I really don't have a whole lot of bad things, a whole lot of, uh, of bad aspects to, to, to say about it, so. Uh, I'm about 90% of the way done with Kingdom Hearts. 
Now, when I say 90% of the way done, I mean 90% of the way done with trophies. Like, I'm done with collecting not all the treasures. I'm done with collecting all the pieces. I'm done with collecting all the maps. I'm done with collecting all the nobodies and the heartless entries. I'm done collecting all the Ansem reports. I've done pretty much everything you can do with the exception of all the missions. I have to get 5,000 points on a skateboarding match to get that achievement in there. That trophy. And then I have to get um, uh, an S rank on all EX routes. Or on all... Excuse me. On uh, all missions. Or on all routes an EX mission. An S rank. On hmm. but an S rank. On... On all routes for a mission and that will give me that trophy and then I will have platinum Kingdom Hearts 2 and then I'm moving on to Kingdom Hearts 1 which is a completely different animal I'll go ahead and platinum that one which is that's that's honestly the achievements for Kingdom Hearts 1 are way harder for, than for 2 like for instance one of the achievements is complete the game without using a continue and then uh, another uh, part of the game is um, complete the game. It's it's called unchanging armor, and it's complete the game uh, without changing your your equipment at once. So that means you have to complete the game with keep with the kingdom key. And then it's recommended to not get any equipment on you until the end of the game, so that you can put the best equipment on you, so that when you're ready for the final boss fight against Riku. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, that game's gonna be a different animal entirely. I'm gonna platinum all of those, and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna platinum Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. So, um, it's gonna be a lot of work, a lot of hours of Kingdom Hearts. Hopefully, I'll have it done by the time I go to Disneyland, and then I can just take these games with me whenever I go and just play them while I'm down there. It's kind of fun. Thank so, you. But, um, so yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3, a lot of fun. Um, I played, I played a little bit of Apex, um, in it's Apex. I don't have the battle pass, so it's kind of like, eh, I just play to play, have fun, you know. I don't really get mad or anything at the game, I just play to play it. And then I played uh, uh, Halo as well, which there's not a lot to say about Halo, it's competitive multiplayer. A lot of fun there as well. So. I always love that's playing pretty much competitive. And you said you, uh, you played something for Mobile Minute? <laughs> oh, the uh, Rumble Rush, they've moved on to a new place uh, now. It's uh, Pincer Island, but you have access to all kinds of stuff, stuff that I've never even heard of, so I'm guessing it must be like possible leaks from upcoming Pokemon coming in a new game or something, I'm not entirely sure. That'd be pretty cool, man. So yeah, that is some obscure lie. shit that I've never heard of. I'm not gonna lie, that'd be pretty damn neat. <laughs> Heck yeah. So... Um... Moving forward here, let me get my handy dandy outline up. Um, industry news. So, like I said, it was a little bit quieter over a week this week, but we, we got some stuff here. Uh, the headline this week is, Microsoft releasing $60 to $100 console in addition to Scarlet. Um, so there's going to be a possible streaming option, and a lot of people think it's an extension on xCloud. Um, Xbox has yet to confirm or deny this exists. So, basically, here's the rub. There's a leak that says, hey, look, the Xbox is not going to release a, a more expensive version or a 1.5 version of Scarlet. Um, they will, however, they are really, however, uh, working on software to possibly release streaming options and not just xCloud. So, if this is a streaming option, my bet is that it's going to be something like Chromecast. You plug into your TV, they'll give you an Xbox controller or an Xbox Elite controller with it, and uh, you just go play it. 
That'd be pretty legit. That 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 would be my that would be my guess. Um, did you read the article on this? Um, I've been looking it over. Yeah. So the the article is on comicbook.com. It's written by Tyler Fisher. We talk about this guy all the time because he's always writing on comic books. Um, it says, "quote." Xbox is making a, its cheaper streaming only uh, console that will be pitched towards mainstream gamers who don't want a more premium priced gaming console end quote. So this leaves speculation open for Xbox availability to customers. Basically what So my theory is if they're going to offer a streaming option, the streaming option is going to be xCloud, and that's what they're going to offer, you know what I mean? And it's a lot like Stadia in a sense that they're going to stream to a certain device, and then they have that cloud that's available for, for console gaming. Um, if that's the case, you're going to have to make dedicated servers for every, every game that you're offering on xCloud, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So... There's a lot to be said for what Microsoft can do in this next gen with Scarlet coming out and then Stadia pushing the envelope with streaming and then um, we got a lot of radiation all of a sudden. I don't know if you listened to it, but did you listen to the uh, bombcast at night uh, bombcast where they were at the E3 press conferences and they asked the dude about Stadia? No, I didn't hear that. So he basically said like. Like, what about people with, like me? I have an, I have an, um, I'm an avid video game player. I have consoles, you know, I don't need to worry about streaming. And I don't want to worry about burning up my, my bandwidth cap. What appeal do I have to buy a con one of your Stadia consoles at that, at that point? And mm -hmm. he said, well, if internet service providers are going to allow you to eat up that bandwidth, then they need to get in line behind everybody else because internet service providers are uh, are going to do what they're going to do and there's nobody that can change that. It, ISPs are going to do what makes them money. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's what somebody else was saying on another podcast. I can't remember which one. I'm so sorry, but um, you know, ISPs are going to do what makes them money. They're going to get what well, they're going to make. They're going to do what gets their pockets fat full of cash. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like you can't say that because the 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 idea that like all these ISPs are gonna get in, get in line due to the fact that that the bandwidth caps are going down or going going up due to the fact that gaming is becoming a more prevalent source of entertainment on all fronts. Yeah. yeah, on all fronts. Like to say that ISPs have to get in line, like you're you're dreaming, dude. You're talking about people who have some of the most money and the biggest power in the world. Like you're crazy, dude. Like video the game, video game industry isn't gonna move that. It's just not. You know, it's like the tariff situation. Letters aren't gonna help shit. <laughs> the video game industry is not gonna move that. The video game industry is not gonna move this. Like the ISP situation, like, it's just not, like, there's just certain things that aren't going to change in our industry, you know, and that's one of them, um, so, I'm interested to see what xCloud does, if it's going to be a situation where you're downloading and that's what's going to be using your bandwidth, or if you're, like, you know, like Game Pass, or if you're going to be streaming, like, Stadia, and that's what xCloud will be interested to see where that goes. Here, here. Uh, news continuing. Uh, this might be something that you might be interested in, uh, Iris. This isn't really something that I was interested in, but... Yeah, Final the... Final Fantasy IV... The, the Final Fantasy XIV? Looks... Yeah, unlimited free trial. Yeah, I was looking further into that, and I was honestly, uh, slightly disappointed. Oh, cause... really? Yeah, they have stipulations on it. New users, oh, new really? users only. Yeah, if you were in the beta program or previously active user, you can't you can't uh, activate the trial. So I was like, that oh, because I was a previous user. 
Yeah. Like, I was thinking about checking this out. Yeah, and I was in beta and previous users, so I got two strikes Five on me. Five minutes, dude. That's about what it took me to check out the game and then turn it off. Oh man, What's I played the sh I I played the shit out of it when I had it. <laughs> A lot of people like that uh, that uh, MMO style. Um, you can level up to eight characters up to level 35. That's a lot of game time. Um, MMO leveling and any MMO is slow going. You're gonna get a lot out of it. However, like Irish was saying, your previous user can't go that route. I didn't. I didn't know that. I honestly. mean, obviously, you can go. And, I'm sure create new account, new username, new email, but you can't, you know, go connecting anything existing. Okay. Yeah, that's a rough. That's that's rough. That's that's kind of shitty. Um, I never played this game, but a lot of people will probably be happy about this. Arkham Trilogy is coming to Xbox One and PS4. Did you play any of those? Yeah, yeah, I played, uh, I want to say two of the Arkham series. Arkham, probably Arkham Asylum and what, Arkham City? Yep. Yeah. Um, the other one was Arkham Knight, I think. Yeah, I haven't played that one, I don't believe. The newest it's Arkham. Disappointing from what I understood. But they're bringing that to the Xbox One and the PS4. Um, so that's something to look forward to if you guys are into that series. Let's see here. Gears 5 is undergoing quote-unquote updates. <laughs> um, so knowing uh, knowing that what you know about the streaming, the cheaper streaming option for xCloud, if your internet can facilitate it, are you going to get one of the streaming xCloud console things? I mean, it sounds like it could be interesting. I wouldn't mind... You know, being able to play all that on my 4K TV, you know, without having to pay the excessive amounts for the full console. That's so here's option. the thing. Here's the thing. Like this, this cheaper option is going to be appealing to a lot of gamers, right? People that really want to play these games. Yeah, because there's a Gears lot of Xbox is... games that I can't play that I really would enjoy. Being Forza. one of them. Forza. That's another one. People love it. Don't they're not able to play it unless you have Xbox. But there's a lot of appealing options for, for people now. Babel. Gears That's 5 like my all-time fave. Uh. Gears 5 undergoing quote unquote updates. Um this late in development is a serious problem. Like it could be a serious problem for the game. Um something that I have in my notes is high expectations. So um, you know, you're talking about taking a game that literally had a big part of making the Xbox 360 name and, and carrying over into the Xbox One, and you're updating the cons the, the title, what's, what is it, uh, four months before release? Seven, eight, nine, ten, so it's releasing in, I believe, October, so that's... You're playing with fire, you know? Straight wow. up. Like, that's not good. So, this late in development, it's not something to look forward to. Um, also, with new people coming in, you have a high bar to set. Um, you're going to have people that have never touched this game before. You're going to have to explain where you are, why you're there, where people can go play the other games. You know, like, there's a lot of things that you got to cover with this next series coming in, especially if you're talking about releasing another console. And I honestly don't think Epic's gonna hit, or, excuse me, Epic's, no, I'm sorry. I honestly don't think the Coalition's gonna, gonna hit it all. I really don't. Like, they got, they got some big, big shoes to fill. Straight up. Leave it at that. <laughs> so, um, hopefully Gears 5, can 
continue to thrive through the hard times. I mean, it did it did get a lot of steam at E3, so there's that at least. So. It was a fun game, that's for sure. Gears? Yeah. Yeah. It, it looked good. I mean, it looked solid. I mean, it looking at it, I mean, they had a, they had some really, really solid, they had a really solid showing up there. And, uh, they were able to really like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Showcase. Showcase what they're able to do with, with um, Gears 5 and, uh, what is my phone doing? Yeah. You're good. Showcase what they're able to do with uh, Gears 5 and, and the Xbox One moving forward. Obviously, it'll probably be on Scarlet too, so you can expect that. So, um, <laughs> you're probably gonna be interested to hear about this. Um, I was interested in it at least. Um. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 bug wiping accounts. So, this is everything from, from paid content, cosmetic content, guns, characters, classes, like you name it, like it's getting wiped. The whole thing, gone. Completely gone. Poof. Out of there. <laughs> it's it's and, pretty uh, scary. I was I was seeing that, and honestly, I I wish I had the dang game right now so I could check my my uh, account and make sure it's so not been messed with. Here's the problem with this, okay? Like, here's my main problem with with this entire situation. You're one of the video. You're one of the biggest video game co companies in the world. You're Activision. You helped build Bungie, or you helped build build the, the division, or the division. You helped build Destiny. Um, you've developed the, you've helped publish these games for years. You guys are aware of this problem. This is something that's affecting millions of players. Why is it not fixed yet? Like, you're talking about paid content. People are losing now. Honestly, there's there's ways to rectify this. Obviously, you would offer in-game currency to go buy these 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 options if they're available to you. Well, obviously, I mean, if you got on it, to to be honest with you, there's been a lot of uh, things going on, pretty wonky with uh, content in the cloud lately. I mean, with the recent outage of uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp and others like there was uh, the day after that everybody else all the big ones recovered there was the ios or the yeah the apple store and shit started having issues the whole apple cloud the icloud started having issues so honestly right. i'm thinking that this is a, a targeted freaking act by hackers and big companies are trying to keep it on the dl because nobody knows who where or what's going on I don't know, man. I mean, Treyarch. I mean, you're talking about a video game company. They they specialize specialize in software. I mean, Treyarch is getting themselves in a lot of trouble lately, dude. You know what I mean? Like, there's a big news last week that we didn't report on because it came out a little bit after the 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 podcast did, and I just didn't want to focus on negative news last week. Yeah. Um, there was a there was a story basically that that was saying, um, you know. A bunch of the workers were saying that the the conditions at uh, at uh, Treyarch or was it Treyarch or Activision? I think it was Treyarch. Anyway, uh, the conditions there at Treyarch were really really unmanageable, and they were it was really hard to work there. And basically, they weren't allowed to come to the the company safety meetings and um, the wellness meetings for the for the staff, and they weren't they weren't allowed to input, have input and suggestions in 
to the company itself and like it was just it was just a mess you know what I mean and mm -hmm. now with all this stuff happening with with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 like Treyarch is is starting to get some serious serious issues starting to have some serious serious issues and the last time we saw something that had issues like this was Telltale and we know where they are now they're closed they're not even a studio anymore you know what I mean Mm -hmm. They had that big nightmare about no severance and all that, you know, for the developers. Like, if if there's another if there's another mix up like that in the video game industry, we're gonna be hard pressed to find developers, which is why we need laws to protect these workers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we really don't have a lot right now. <laughs> so, um. I don't know. My everything tells me from you know the things I've been hap seeing happen with the iCloud. I wouldn't doubt if they have some of these accounts backed up or stored on a cloud system, either through Google or otherwise. Because we we know that Google just shortly before all of these other uh, <laughs> systems that are relying upon um, the the clouds, Google Cloud in particular. Um, they, you know, Google was already having, you know, known hack issues and was, you know, having to try and cover up there. Well, now, oddly enough, we're seeing other things that are relying upon those same systems failing out weeks later, right, or day, days, you yep. know, weeks later. So, I mean, I think this is, you're, you're atypical hackers out there trying to freaking show you know these large companies that hey you think your security's robust it's really not check it fix it here or we're gonna keep coming at you and know. you know and, and as far as, as as far as you know technology like has around, been going around and computers and everything there's always been hackers there they may seemingly be doing bad work but ultimately it ends up doing good because if it wasn't for them we wouldn't know of these issues that need to be fixed and patched well i mean if you're talking about wiping an entire account i mean it's, that's entirely <laughs> it's pretty i mean that's that's harmful you know what i mean yeah that's that's, like, that's almost pretty cyber malicious terrorism. yeah I mean, at that point, you're wasting people's money. But you know then again, I mean? like, look at look at what happened with um, Sony and Xbox servers on Christmas a few years back. You know what I'm saying? What Hack happened exactly? I don't. I, no, they they killed killed the freaking servers with DDoS. Oh wow. Yeah, they they straight shut Hit them with down. The den denial of service, huh? Oh yeah, hard. And they said spend How did time. How they do that? Spend, like with console. Uh, well, they didn't do anything with the console. They what they did is they took um, and they had a, a I do believe it was a 10 hundred gigabit connection, like uh, router connection, and then masked IP to deceive their location and read as though that they were the attacks were coming from the international relay. Huh. And you know about the international relay. It's like a giant router that goes. It's for handling the data packet relays from, you know, between us and, you know, Eurasia. Hmm. You know that's that? weird. I never. Yeah, that's. Yeah, they they straight. I, I mean, it's a thing. Straight, I'm sure, but I just. Yeah, they straight took heard. their IPs, hijacked the IPs for you know, uh, or clone clone the IPs rather, and then started prepare. Uh, you know. Performing the attack as though they were the freaking international fucking relay. Hmm. That's crazy, dude. It's crazy what the technology can do. Like, yeah, and, it then, is. and it was just like a, a a bunch of people, you know, just kind of freaking ping ping nasty at the freaking router or at the uh, servers from those IPs until the shit got shut down. And their main goal on that was to make a point, like spend time with your family, not these systems. Yeah, I don't know, man. Which the you know, it, do that. like you, you focus in software. Like your whole, uh, your whole, your whole idea behind like a, a, a business 
is to build the software that's supposed to like protect oh, well not supposed to protect but that's supposed to play off of a system like you don't know how to build a firewall you know what I mean like I don't know man people should spend more time on on, on protecting the, the 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 equipment that matters I guess is what is it's is, is kind of what you're saying you know what I mean like our well, protection isn't up to standards for the technology and the people uh, how good the people are nowadays yeah, and you know, really, it's stuff. it's it's really hard to overcome that. I mean, just what yesterday, I got a phone call from some guy. I said, this number called me. I'm like, I've been at work the, the whole day. I haven't called anybody. <laughs> like, so, so somebody obviously went and used one of those applications that allows you to hijack other people's phone numbers and then call from them. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. So, I mean, it, like, there's so much possibility with freaking technology, especially how far it's gone, and, you know, trying to control every single person and what they're going to do with that potential. Just have fun. <laughs> yeah, people no, will be no people, kidding, dude. you know, like, and not everybody's no good. That truth. That's exactly that. That that's 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 the fact. That's fact, no doubt. And you know, honestly um, speaking, in this day and age, the majority is freaking definitely far from. Oh no doubt. There's so many problems in this day and age, dude. Like compared to where we were. I mean, life is better. Don't get me wrong. Life is more comfortable. But but that there's. It's more violence in this world, or it's more prevalent at least. Yeah, the the entertainment we're provided with is to keep us numb to the fact that shit is shit all around us. Right. To be more comfortable and okay um, with that. Uh, shit. Like I said, this is affecting everything, including cosmetics. Um, there was no no cause nor solution that has been suggest suggested. Um. The uh, website this was writ written on, an article on comicbook.com written ag again by Tyler Fisher, <laughs> states, uh, quote, it's been 48 hours since Activision and Treyarch have uh, Treyarch moved the issue to its priority list, yet, no, yet a solution hasn't been dished out. So basically hmm. they're saying, hey, uh, we know this is a problem, we don't know how to fix it. Sorry. <laughs> like, we just don't know. Um, basically, it's exactly what I said, you know, um, everything following Treyarch's, Treyarch's, you know, business situation all the way to Black Ops 4, you know, and their developing situation and now these problems with the bug, the last problem, the last time we, we saw problems like this was Telltale, you know, and um, okay. whether it's a hacker or not, they're in a lot of trouble, you know, yeah. they're going to start losing money. Like, and that's what's gonna happen. I already didn't buy, buy Black Ops 4. I was considering it, I was like kinda there, but now hearing that this is happening, I'm good. You guys can keep your game. <laughs> so. It's a sad day, man. I'm, yeah. I'm interested to see what they do to pull out of this downward spiral. Uh, and this isn't really newsworthy, this is just something that I wanted to report on just because I thought it was cool. Um, and I don't know how many people play Breath of the Wild, but I know I do, and I enjoyed it. Um, uh, a Zelda Wind Waker village has been found in Breath of the Wild, reported by IGN. A quote on IGN.com says, "Almost exact, it's an almost exact replication of an entire village from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Uh, I just thought it was really cool, and I thought we should maybe report on that, because it was one of those situations where it was like, oh, cool, they put like some sort of Easter egg in there. And... Uh, my understanding is it was, it was a pretty rough. Uh, it was a pretty rough find. It wasn't easy. So, <laughs> so. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty interesting. I, I did a bit. Yeah, I never found this. Yeah, I never found that either. That's crazy, dude. Um, go to my handy dandy outline here. I think that's uh, that's the end there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's new releases, which we're kind of going to skip this week. 
Um, I know, I mean, Super Mario Maker 2 is out. Go pick that up if that's something you want to play. That's really it. Um, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us. I'm going to keep asking you guys until we get them. <laughs> like, I'm going to keep bugging you guys about it. Um, if you guys have any questions or want our opinions on anything, uh, feel free to ask us. Uh, Irish, let's get out of here. Where can they find you? Um, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, Irish1620. Instagram, Facebook, Irish1620.gaming. All right, awesome. And uh, you guys know that you can find me at BTG Inferno on Twitter, BTG Inferno on YouTube, BTG underscore Inferno on Mixer, Broken Controllers on Facebook, um, working on an Instagram. Uh, when I go to Disneyland, I will have videos and stuff like that going up as well, so it won't all be video gaming this year. Um, but that'll be September. And then aside from that, uh, that's pretty much it. So that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for showing up for uh, episode uh, 14 of Broken Controllers, and uh, we will uh, talk to you next week. Later, guys.